You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> Right. Yeah. It's Ian and I. <laughs> yep. Well, you might want to introduce yourself to those who don't know you. They know me now, don't they? Well, to our new friends joining us, may not know you. <laughs> Why do we always suck so hard at intros? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Is your hair good? Yeah, let me check. Oh. <laughs> Is it good now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Hello! And welcome to the Danny Rearrange YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome. <laughs> uh, if, if you are new, my name is Danielle. I also go by Danny. And this is my husband, Ian. Ian. Yep. Yes. <laughs> And today, we are making over the living room. And I have help because someone has a little time off. Yep. So, yes, that is what we are doing in today's video. We are making over the living room. I am on a mission to completely transform my whole house. We're going to make over and refresh the whole house. The kitchen is last. The kitchen is last. Yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, the very last. Yeah. The, the basement first before the kitchen. No, the kitchen before the basement. Basement. Yeah. We gotta get Lucas the bedroom down there. Did you just pass the wind? No. Oh. Why would I do that on camera? <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Uh, uh, um, no, the kitchen. The cats are fighting over there. Maybe that's what you're hearing. Oh, yeah. We're babysitting uh, Ian's dad's cats, Buddy and Lucy. There are bonus fur babies. There's, there's gonna be a lot of DIY projects in today's video. Again, all of my home makeovers and refreshes, I try to keep on a budget. I will say that for the living room, this is going to be a little bit more than what I spent. Well, I'd say, well, I don't, I, don't, I kept it under $100 with the dining room and the entryway, but this is gonna be I would say probably around two two fifty. So it's probably gonna be around two hundred two hundred fifty dollars to make over the entire living room, and the the most expensive piece will be the area rug. So Ian and I really wanted an area rug in the living room. We did pick that out already from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think it was like originally a hundred. It was hundred seventy nine bucks. And we got it. Like everything we got at Hobby Lobby was fifty percent off. So um, and we didn't get a ton. Uh, but again, I'm trying to go for this industrial rustic look throughout the house and a lot of what I have isn't um, But anyway, we'll go through all of that uh, in today's video But yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm right. very excited about this. So um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I Feel like there's more for me to say but I'll talk more throughout the video and let's get to it. Let's get to it Let's do this <laughs> Okay. Oh, we need to like, you know, okay. One of the things that I really don't like is the couch. <laughs> so I picked out this couch from Wayfair when we moved into the house because the couches that we had, which are down in the basement, uh, I wasn't too fond of. I thought this couch was going to, I wanted a, what, we wanted an L-shaped sectional, right? What's up? We wanted an L-shaped sectional couch, and I thought it was good. And of course, I didn't measure anything. I wanted it to be a lot smaller. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. And then when they brought the couches, the couch the, in, I was like, "This no, no, this isn't what this is. No, <laughs> I'm like, no, take it back." And then Ian saw it, and he's like, "This is sweet. He loves it. It's too big for the living room. I love it. It's too big for the living room." Big. I'm gonna actually back you up a little bit. Probably like right here, maybe. There we go. Your undergarments are showing again. 
Okay, you work on the TV stand, I'll work on the coffee table. I need to move this out of here. Alrighty. Oh. Well, gee, look at that. Dirty socks. <laughs> Not mine. Not mine. Get all of this stuff out of here. Do we even need that, Ian? I mean, is no. it okay? I'll take it to the basement. Why would you take it to the basement? For, uh -huh. You don't need it, right? Well, it goes with that Yamaha. What like, Yamaha? Yamaha box to be like out here. This is the best spot for it. All right. I don't think there's a mouse under there. I don't know. Cleo was sniffing under there, and I was like, "Why?" She just probably was at one point or something. There's a fork. There is a fork under the couch. Oh, what happened to my? Well, that's done for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and recycle that. Oh, there's so much dog hair under here. Sweetie. I know. They just want to see what we're doing. All right. Oh, we have this out. Have this out. What are these? Uh, Where'd you get these? Uh, Hobby Lobby? Mm hmm. Mm. These look good. I know. Puzzle. Oh, God. I don't know if I can pick this up. Ready? <laughs> Oh God. We'll just kind of swing your side over it. Oh my God, I gotta put it down. Yeah, go ahead. Ah. There, we're good. That TV stand was incredibly heavy. I can't believe I was even able to move it an inch. It was so heavy. But wow, it turns out so good. It doesn't even look like the same TV stand. This living room makeover is by far my absolute favorite makeover. I know I said that about the dining room and I absolutely love the dining room and the entryway. I even love the tiny bathroom, which I didn't do a ton to, but the living room, dining room, and entryway are the style that I'm going for. I'm trying to go for an industrial rustic look and so far so good. It's turning out really well but the living room is exactly the style that I'm going for. It, it literally, it's, it's so good. It turned out so good. It doesn't even look like the same living room at all, but that TV stand, I would say was the biggest transformation. It doesn't even look at all the same. I'm very excited to show you the before and afters. At the end of today's video, you're gonna see some super satisfying before and afters. I love my before and afters, that's no secret. But we have a lot to get into today. I have a lot to go over. There's a lot of DIY projects in today's video. Well, the living room is pretty much a DIY. <laughs> that wood is so pretty. 
I am so glad we're sanding that TV stand. It's gonna look so much better. With the TV stand, I am not gonna do any black paint on the TV stand. We're just gonna leave it all wood and then I'm gonna stain it. So I'm really excited about that because I think it's gonna look really, really good. That is such, it's just gorgeous wood underneath the uh whatever is on there i don't think it's paint i think it's just stained but um anywho while ian is sanding down the tv stand and i'll periodically go back and forth um to see his progress i wanted to show you the new paint that i got i got americana egg for the other accent walls for the living room and the main hallway this is a, a much lighter green it's a gorge. I think it, it's it it's it's definitely, in my opinion, it's a green, <laughs> but it's a much lighter green because I just wanted like a tint of green for the other two accent walls, just to really keep that bright color. Um, and if I if I end up not liking it and I I, I want the Eden instead. I, I'll go with the Eden. We're just gonna see how it looks, see how it complements the other accent walls. But when you put the two together, that's what it looks like together. So you can see it's a much, much lighter green. But again, I just want, because originally I was just gonna do the whole living room in that frost, but I think it needed a little something extra, so. And again, if I don't like, if I, if I, if I don't, if I want it a little bit more green, I will put, I'll go back to this or I'll get an even darker green. This may not be enough green, but we're just going to go with it. One of the things that I wanted to mention is the couch. That couch is way too big for the living room. When I ordered that couch, which I got that couch off of Wayfair. I believe it was like 900 and something dollars. It was a really good price. It's a huge couch. I got it when we moved into the house. We wanted an L-shaped sectional, but I, of course, didn't measure the couch. Of course I didn't. So when they delivered it and they brought it into the house, I was looking at it and I was thinking, wait a minute, this is no, this is no, <laughs> this is too big. And of course, Ian was like, I love it. I mean, he loves it because it's huge. It's too big and it completely blocks my entire bay window and I don't want that. I would love to make over that bay window uh, do something cool to it, make it a reading nook, really just, I don't know, make it really unique and cool. But there's no point in me doing that because the couch blocks the entire bay window. That's why I didn't put m most of my plants in the bay window. You'll see it at the end of today's video. And eventually I'm going to make over the four season. The four season is going to be there's gonna be a lot of greenery. That's where I wanna place the, the majority of my greenery. All of my live plants are pretty much on the bay window in the kitchen. But uh, I just didn't see any point in doing anything to the bay window because that, that couch does block it. Now I do put up new curtains. Two of the panels are um, curtains that I already had. And then there's two new panels, uh, two new curtains from Target, which I show later on in today's video, which really made a huge difference to the bay window. But when that couch is done and it's time to get a new one, we will be getting a much smaller couch. I may get like even a two seat sofa with maybe two small chairs. I might do something like that, but no matter what I decide to do, the furniture, uh, the seating in the living room will be a lot smaller. So it's not blocking that bay window. I don't want anything blocking that window. When the lights are out and you
In a second here, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the rug issues that we had. I had decision fatigue trying to pick a rug. <laughs> We went through three different rugs before finally choosing a rug. And here's the funny part. The rug that we ultimately ended up choosing, which you'll see at the end of today's video, was the rug from the entryway. <laughs> I removed the rug from the entryway and put it in the living room because that was the rug. That was the rug I wanted in there. I love that rug. The problem is, is that it wasn't big enough. Target does have a bigger size, but I decided to get the exact same rug, exact same size for the living room. So I have two of those rugs in the living room. I layered them on top of each other. It looks so cool. You'll see it at the end of today's video. It looks super cool. I love them layered together. But before finally coming to that decision, we went through three rugs. Ian picked out a rug from Hobby Lobby, which was rug number one. Then I went to Target, picked out another rug that Ian and I hated in the living room so we returned that then when we went to return both of the rugs ian and i found this rug it's a hearth and hand rug uh that we got from target that i absolutely love it's you're gonna see it in a little bit it's gorgeous it's very neutral it's very minimal looking to me i love it the problem is is that i don't know if we would ever use it because we were thinking about keeping it because we were thinking about putting it in the four season or our bedroom when we make over those rooms, which I would include that rug in the budget, in the total budget. I just don't know what to do with it yet. We may actually return it, but um, it just wasn't used. <laughs> I'm decision fatigued. <laughs> um, I just got done posting... Um, some of my stories over on Instagram. If, if you uh, aren't following me over on Instagram, uh, my Instagram is at Danny Rearranged. I'll link it in the description box below. But I've been kind of talking about uh, this process so far in the living room. One of the things that, there's two things specifically that I was talking about and it was this paint color behind me and the rug. So Ian picked out this, the, um, the rug that you seen earlier, did I show that? So Ian picked out that rug from Hobby Lobby. He's seen that, he loved it. I know, he told me many times he loved that rug. And I really did like that rug. I did think it was a little too big at first, but then I realized that really it isn't. But then the more that I kept looking at it, I felt like it was a little too cold for the living room. I wanted something a little bit more cozy, even though I really did like it. I thought it was very industrial. So then I decided to go to Target earlier today and look for a different rug. And I was trying to find, I was trying to find a rug like or identical to the one in the hallway. I love that rug in the hallway, the entryway hallway. They don't have that rug in a bigger size. At least I couldn't find it. They did have the same rug, but it was in that size and that's too small for the living room. But I love that rug. So I thought, okay, I'll find something similar. So I thought I found something similar brought it home it was a bigger rug it was the same size as the first rug laid it out ian and i hated it it was nope <laughs> no so ian and i just got back not too long ago we returned the one rug to hobby lobby back to hobby lobby returned the other rug that i picked out from target earlier today and Ian and I think we found the rug. So this rug is a very neutral rug. This is completely different than what I originally wanted. I wanted something similar to what was in the entryway. I couldn't find it, at least at where I was going. The target that is by me, I couldn't find anything that looked similar to that that I liked. So I was like, okay, let's brainstorm. So. 
This is the Hearth and Hand rug I was talking about earlier that we got from Target. I love this rug. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Unfortunately, it just didn't work in the living room. Again, I'm still undecided on what I'm going to do with this rug. Uh, I just don't know yet. But you'll see at the end of today's video, the two smaller rugs layered on top of each other. It turned out really good. I want to show you something, but I got to, there, right here. It's got to be kind of far back. So I want to show you the difference here. You can see it's actually probably going to be better here, I think. Right? I'd say right here. So I'm going to shut that door. this because I think one of the reasons why I was so unsure of the Americana egg is because the Americana egg on the wall is more it's for sure a little more it has like blue in it is that just me are you picking up blue I think that this may have this at least to me looks a little more blue and I could be totally wrong. Whereas this is a lot greener. Like, and that's what I was going for was a green, not a blue. Where this just seems very, like more of a, like a farmhouse type of style. And this just feels very industrial to me. And that's just me. I love both colors though. I really do. I mean, I really do but uh, you can see the difference. And when I was showing it on Instagram from afar, when I was all the way back in the dining room and I was trying to show the difference between the dining room uh, accent wall and this here, you couldn't really see the difference. It could totally just be the lighting. But now seeing them together, you can clearly see what a huge difference that is. I feel like the I I kind of felt like it was clashing, like the colors were clashing. And I could see that, but the camera wasn't picking it up. But now you can see it. Now these two colors may very well go together, but it's definitely not this isn't the style that I was going for. Still a beautiful color though. I love I love Joanna Gaines paints. I love Magnolia Home paint. It's it's such an awesome paint. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's a difference. That's a big difference. So during the making of this video, halfway through, I ran into a little bit of a problem. I ran into a creativity block. What you're about to see is how I stretch the imagination, try to get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Did you break a little, Danielle? Yeah, yeah. I broke my brain. Yeah. Listen, it's going to be okay. The ideas will come. It'll be fine. It'll work out. Do you know what you want to do with the living room? No. What are you going to do with the French doors? I have no idea. Is the creativity coming to you? Nope. Nope. It's not. We're just going to let all of the imagination flow to my brain. What are you going to do with the bay window, Danielle? I don't know. I don't know. The ideas will come. The imagination will be stretched. It's going to be okay. I'm going to take a nap. Just a little nap. I haven't had a nap in about 12 years. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Yeah, we're long overdue for a nap. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy. But I can put an end to your fears. Let me show you a place where you gon' wanna move your feet until they start.
just started to take the doors down. So he is over here, about ready, your undergarments, let me go this way, about ready to sand. Yeah, I know, I just said your undergarments, it's okay. Well, yeah, I know, I'm not. So, uh, this, I'm I'm really excited about this. Um, this is, ugh, I hate that feel. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, yeah. we're oh, getting yeah. yeah. You know, that's that coarse feel you want. That's why you throw that softer grit on it. Yeah, we're we're getting down to the natural wood here. It's going to take a little bit to get this off. Day three, we are on, we are on day three. <laughs> We're almost done. So Ian is done sanding the TV stand. I feel like I'm screaming because I have these in. Ian is done sanding the TV stand. He's done sanding the French doors. That is all of the sanding that we're gonna do uh, for the living room for right now, for this video. We're gonna start staining those items. Uh, the French doors look amazing. The TV stand looks really good too, but getting those French doors down to their natural wood. What, what? Which one? What? I've never heard him meow like that before. He just ate. What's up? I think I've said this, but we're babysitting my father-in-law's cats, Buddy and Lucy. Um, we babysit them when my father-in-law's out of town. 
So, but I've never heard him meow like that before. And he just ate. We just gave him breakfast, him and Lucy. So, you okay? There are bonus fur babies. That's what we call them. So, anywho, um, yeah, we're gonna start staining the French doors and the TV stand. Um, those French doors down to its natural wood is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Before I start staining, I want to say sanding. I don't know why. <laughs> Before I start staining the French doors, I wiped it down really, really well with a wet rig. It's just water. I didn't use soap or anything like that. There were some issues with French doors when staining them. So I originally wanted a lighter color stain. Uh, I wanted it to be like, I really wanted it to be that, I think it's called spring oak stain. It's a, it's just a, how do I want to say it? Like, uh, not a gold, but just a light brown stain is what I wanted. I wanted, you know what? I wanted it to look similar to the dining room table, the top of the dining room table. The problem is, is every stain that I used, and I used a couple of them, it kept looking like it looked like before I started staining it. It just wasn't working. <laughs> we have a little bit of a problem. When it comes to the French doors, I tried a couple of different stains. Both of these stains were pulling up that red gold tint, which I didn't want. It was starting to look identical to what was there before. So instead of doing a light oak, light brown stain, we decided to go with the black cherry stain. I think it looks really good, but I'm gonna tell I'm gonna show you the difference between the two, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I shoved a lot of stuff in Zoe's room. <laughs> I just pushed it all in there. Um, this is what I just did, this is the black cherry stain. That's the original door. Because what it was before I put that black cherry stain on looked identical to the original. And that's what we don't want. I don't want it to be identical. So what I'm gonna do is paint, just to give this dimension, I'm gonna paint this in here black. And I think it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look really good. I have a plan. So I started to paint the grooves in the inside of the windows there. It wasn't working, it didn't work. So unfortunately I had to leave that alone I don't like that because I think it needs to be painted or stained, but the problem is is that I don't have a small enough sander to get into those grooves. So there are a couple of things about the French doors that I don't like that we will fix in the near future, but overall the black cherry on the French doors, it looks really pretty. I wanted the French doors to look different. I wanted to give it a makeover and I felt like the lighter stains just wasn't doing it. I was very hesitant about the black cherry, but when everything was completed, it looks really good. It does. It just needs to be finished. That the, All of the doors have to be finished. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot in today's video. I apologize if I've repeated myself quite a bit in today's video. I tried to organize it the best I could. This, this in all took a lot of days <laughs> so i tried to organize it the best i could so i'm popping up on the screen here two stains so the first stain is spring oak the second one i can't pronounce <laughs> but out of all of the stain that i used in today's video the only new stain the only stain that i purchased was the spring oak all the other stains i already had but this is going to be a little confusing so with the tv stand <laughs> i wiped down the entire stand before i started to stain it i started to stain it i believe with that uh the little stain then i questioned it then i started using the spring oak then i wanted it to be a little bit darker so i went back to the the little can 
of stain and that's what I use to stain uh, the top again and also the rest of the TV stand. So the majority of the TV stand is that the, the little can of stain that I can't pronounce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so horrible at explaining things, but it looks so good. It turned out so good. So the French door um, made contact with the coffee table. I broke the coffee table. <laughs> It's broke. I'll show you. <laughs> it was an accident. The, the coffee table that was originally there is broke. It's broke. I broke it. Yep. Let's just say that um, the French door, one of the French doors, made contact with the coffee table because it was my fault and I broke it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. But it was a sign. And it was a sign. And that sign is that just wasn't the coffee table. Now here's the deal. I don't want to buy, I don't want to spend any more money. Now eventually I'll probably get a new coffee table. I don't want to spend any more money. I don't want to go back and forth anymore to any more places. No. So I would like to get a round wood coffee table for the living room. A smaller one. But the one that was originally there is not going to be there for this makeover. So I thought, okay, what else can I do? So I remembered that I have the TV stand in Zoe's room. So I painted the top black like I did with the last coffee table. And to be honest with you, I didn't like it. I, didn't, I don't like either one of them. I don't like it. I don't like it. It does, I don't like it. So now I have to get creative. So I thought, okay, let's get crafty. So I went online and I was looking up, you know, alternative coffee tables. And I came across something. I seen that quite a lot of coffee tables are actually benches. And I thought that's brilliant. I have a bench, it's a gorgeous bench. It's been sitting in my four season forever. It's been in my family for years and years and years. It's old and it's gorgeous and I love it. So I thought, well, let's use that. And it's a little big and it's just temporary. But what am I gonna do about the top? Because it's leather. I can't put stuff on it. So then I came up with another good idea. Because I've put this into overdrive and it hurts. <laughs> yeah. So um, I remember that I said I was going to do a DIY with the barn doors that's, that was on the entryway, or I'm sorry, the hallway, uh, on the wall in the hallway. Then I moved it to the dining room counter didn't like it in either places and I said I was going to do a DIY with it and that's exactly what I'm doing. So Okay, so we got that off. We got the one off here. I'm going to get and originally, I was going to use this side. I was going to use this side as the, as the tray. Why wouldn't you, why didn't I think to just sand this side, stain it, and it's flat. It looks more like a tray versus using this side as a tray. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what I was thinking. I'm going to try my very best to... <laughs> end today's video and this voiceover uh, the best that I possibly can because I'm, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are that are in the living room now the after uh, a little bit ahead of showing you the after because I originally wasn't going to do a voiceover to end the video but um, when I ended the video walking through the living room after I was done transforming it it was 16 minutes long so I have to shorten that up <laughs> just a little bit. So I'm going to try to go through um, as much stuff as I possibly can in a short period of time. <laughs> I'm going to try to go through this quickly, which is unusual for me. Um, with the tray, because I'm going to talk about the uh, bench and the tray that's going to go, this tray that's going to go on the bench. I don't know if I'm going to keep the bench that you'll see at the end of today's video as the coffee table. Um, I, I don't know yet. We may in the future buy a new coffee table. We may not. I, I just don't know yet. But for right now, uh, I love how the bench looks 
in the middle of the living room as the acting as the coffee table. I really do. I think it's very unique. The reason why I wanted to make that DIY tray was to protect the bench. And it does. It's large enough that it covers the majority of that bench, so it does work. The DIY tray and that bench looks so good together. It's so cool, it's very unique. I wanted to make this living room unique. I wanted to throw my personality into it. There's a lot of things in the living room that are very unique. That bench and tray is one of them, and I just think it looks really cool. Um, since I'm showing you the curtains here, I did want to talk about the curtains in the bay window really quickly. So I already had two of the curtains, two panels. They're sheer, they're very pretty. That wasn't originally what I was gonna use, but it works. However, I needed two new curtains, two new panels, so I did get these two at Target. The, the four curtains, the two, how do I wanna say this? The, the, two, the two panels that I had and the two new panels from Target work so well together. They really do transform that bay window. That's really the only thing that I did to the bay window. However, on the side of the bay window, we did add another wall light. So the wall light that's closest to the TV on the wall we've had up for a while, I wanted to get things off of the floor and add more lighting. The problem is, is that the one light didn't look right. So I ended up uh, shortly after that purchasing another matching wall light. I just didn't put it up until we started working on the living room because I knew we were gonna do a living room makeover. So the bay window looks great. I really do love it. Uh, showing you these knobs here for a while, <laughs> I really love those knobs. That was the one thing that I couldn't find online on the Hobby Lobby website, but I did link something that's similar to those knobs. Ian actually picked out those knobs, I, I love them. But I did have to drill a bigger hole to make them fit. Everything else is linked. I think everything new that I used in today's video should be linked in the description box below. Um, I believe I linked everything, but all of the things, all of the new things that were used in today's video, I, I did uh, list in the description box below. The before is very outdated. My living room was very outdated. Now it looks like this. I love how my living room turned out. This turned out better than I imagined. I am shocked. It's the style that I was going for. It's rustic, it's industrial. At least it feels like that to me. I absolutely love this transformation. The French doors are the only thing that I'm unsure of, so they're not finished yet. The black cherry turned out really, really good. I love how it looks. The thing is, is that sometimes, depending on how the light hits it, it looks more reddish purple, but it's actually a really pretty, it looks like a really pretty dark brown. Uh, but the trim needs to be finished. I just don't know what I'm gonna do to the trim yet, if I'm gonna stain it or paint it, but the trim has to get fixed, and then we have to sand the inside of the door where the windows are, and then stain or paint that part. The lamps, uh, the floor lamps, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to keep out, so I kept both of them out, and I honestly think, again, this is something very unique, and I think it looks good, I think it works. I, I just love how it looks. I may take one out, but for right now, I'm gonna keep the two paired together. The arches on the wall, which are also from Hobby Lobby and are linked, look awesome. I love that style. The glass vase that's on the TV stand, I thought was 50% off. Everything I got at Hobby Lobby was 50% off, except that vase. I even called. Uh, <laughs> It was full price. I do have it linked in the description box below. It was $44.99. I am undecided if I'm going to keep that or not. I, I don't know yet, um, but I, I do love it. I absolutely love that vase. The smaller wood vase was from the entryway table, but the entryway table had too many vases on it, so I did remove that small wood one. I think it looks great on the TV stand. That TV stand turned out so good. That is my absolute favorite DIY out of this living room. The only two new things on the couch are the two smaller throw pillows, and then we come to the rugs. The rugs. I already talked enough about the rugs, but I will say this. I love those two smaller rugs paired together. I think that it looks very unique. It's cool. 
I love that style. I'm going to keep it that way. So I love that. I love that rug. I love those rugs. But the total spent for today's video was $244.90. However, I did purchase the other gallon of paint by Magnolia Home in the color Americana Egg. So adding in that, it rounds me up to about $293. So I wanted to keep under $300. I honestly wanted to stay between $200 and $250, but it's okay. So that is it for today's video, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this living room makeover. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much, and we will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everyone. I'm winded. Let's remember. Remember, there's nothing left to the get true, don't forget it. When life throws lemons, just count on me. Get, don't forget, don't call on me, don't forget. When life lemons, just count on me. Get something. Don't forget, call on me. Ooh, that's another good one. I am so alienated. Sitting on planet X. I'm becoming a person I've hated. Wonder what will happen next.